Bill Dozier, father of the writer William Dozier, a big old time Hollywood producer, went east and subsequently became a big producer at CBS. And they decided they wanted to do a kid show Saturday morning, a live kid show about space. It wasn't Space Cadets. I think Space Cadets was before this. And it was called Rod Brown of the Rocket Rangers. Now I'm already doing a play on Broadway, taking myself fairly seriously. And I go in and I figure, well, hey, this is a gig that I can knock it off every Saturday morning with about 20 minutes rehearsal on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Make some relatively good money. So I was strictly thinking money and the chance of paying the rent regularly. Nothing more than survival. Never knowing it was gonna be pretty successful. So uh, Bruce, well, Jack Weston, Bruce Moore and I and John, and John uh, who played the commander, John, uh, Brisk, I want to say Briscoe, lovely man. He played Commander Swift. Bruce played uh, another cadet, and I played Rod Brown and Jack Weston with the comic relief. And Jack has left us. I know Bill's left us. And Rod is still floating around in outer space. <laughs> Rod Brown of the Rocket Rangers was a stalwart young American who was hopefully having a good impact on the youth of America. And then we had a like 10 commandments, a little card. I remember that some of the commandments were, I will not roar my rockets unwisely, <laughs> meaning you won't mouth off. You know, kind of a Boy Scout treat. And it was quite successful, it was live. Jonathan Winters played on it a couple of times. Got a brilliant talent. It was a lot of fun. We laughed our way through it. I mean, we didn't make fun of it, but we had a lot of fun. And George Gould, lovely man, who was a producer. How long did the series last? A year. I think about a year. I remember we shot it up in the, around 90th and Lexington, up and up in East Side, and I. Uh, still living down on the Lower West Side, but I had a car then, and I'd tootle up Saturday around five in the morning, race up to that little studio, and we'd knock it off. I mean, it was fun. We didn't dismiss it, and we tried to do a good job, but we were all professionals. Jack Weston, you know, these are Bruce Moore, good actors, all recognizing that this paid our rent. As a serious actor, did you find you had a bunch of kids who recognized you back then? Not a lot, but we went down to Philly and a couple of places for a parade and they had us in those monkey suits, Rod Brown, you know, uniforms. You know, you'd get hundreds of autograph things you had to sign. You began to be aware that you were having some influence on kids. And you did that in a respectful way. <laughs>